in the last video we stopped here so let us read the question the question was uh, find the value of theta for which the perimeter of sector AOB is one half the perimeter of BOC so from the figure you can see this is you want to make for what angle of theta would this area sorry not area the perimeter be half the perimeter of this so we know the perimeter of a sector is the two radii plus the arc length so we say the perimeter of sector AOB is OA plus OB plus this arc and the perimeter of BOC would be OB plus OC plus BOC or the arc BOC or arc BC so we say we found uh, where were we? Yeah. We found, we simplified, and we got, you can uh, see in my last video, the perimeter of AOB was 16 plus 8 pi, and perimeter of BOC is very similar 16 plus 8, sorry, 16 plus 8 theta, and here it will be 16 plus 8 times pi minus theta. So it's always good to check and ask the question does the answer make sense and we simplified we did a little of, little of algebra simple algebra and we came up with this answer so we're going to check whether this answer is making sense so what i have done is i've rewritten perimeter of aob is this so i'm going to put the value of theta into this the theta into this and see whether uh, this area is half of this area so so this would become simplified to 16 plus 8 times this theta is pi by 3 minus 2 over 3. And this would become 16 plus 8 times pi minus theta. Minus theta would become minus pi by 3 plus two-thirds okay so so let us uh, let us simplify so let us rewrite perimeter of AOB we are carrying forward from here so this will be 16 plus I'm expanding it now so this is 8 pi by 3 minus 16 over 3. Now, I can multiply, this is the denominator is 1, I want to make the denominator is equal, so I have to multiply 3 to both the numerator and denominator, so 16 times 3 is 48 over 3 plus 8 pi over 3 minus 16 over 3. So let me scroll down, so this becomes 48 over 3 minus 16 over 3, okay, 48 minus 16 is 32 over 3 plus 8 pi over 3. Now what can you factor out? So I can see an 8 and an 8 third you can factor out. So it is 8 third times 4, 4 times 8 is 32, so 4 plus 8 thirds is gone, so this is the simplified form of perimeter of AOB. 8 third plus 4 plus pi. So let us look at perimeter of BOC. And this can be simplified, so uh, let me rewrite that. So 16, okay, let us do one more step. So this is 16 plus 8 times pi minus pi third is 2 pi over 3 plus two-thirds. So let me rewrite this. So perimeter of perimeter of BOC. What did we write? So let us see it again. Always go to check. That is 16 plus 16 plus 8. Let us go back times 2 pi over 3 plus two-thirds times 2 pi over 3 plus 2 thirds. So what can you factor out? You can factor out the 2 thirds, so that is 16. So if you factor out the 2 thirds, that is 16 thirds 
times pi plus pi plus mm, two thirds so plus one isn't it okay so now this can be written as so that is 16 plus 16 pi over 3 okay I'm expanding plus 16 over 3 so what will happen now so this is equal to the denominator is 1 so that is 48 over 3 plus 16 pi over 3 plus 16 over 3 so what can you factor out so let us simplify 48 plus 16 48 58 so that is 64 am i right yeah 64 over 3 plus 16 pi over 3 so you can factor out 16 over 3 common so 16 goes in 64 four times so that is 4 plus 5 okay so we're on the home stretch so can we write this as 2 times 8 over 3 times 4 plus pi. So let me write this as perimeter of BOC. So let me take it back. What is perimeter of AOB? That is 8 third times perimeter of sorry, 8 third times 4 plus pi. So I hope you can see 8 thirds plus 4 plus pi. So you can divide both sides by, if you divide both sides by 2, you can say, or you multiply both sides by half, you can say half times perimeter of BOC is equal to, and this is nothing but, the perimeter of AOB and that is what we wanted to check the perimeter of AOB it's always good to check your answer and understand what the number is te telling you so it makes sense okay let us look at the last question okay so what does it say uh, in the case in the case where theta is pi by 3 show that the exact length of the perimeter of triangle ABC is so we're talking about this triangle. Oh, let it go a long way back. So this is triangle A, A, B. B. We're talking about this triangle. Okay, let me draw that triangle so that you can see. This is we're talking about triangle A, B, and C. We're talking about this triangle. Okay. So what do we know? So you know this length is 16 centimeters okay we want to find out uh, we want to find uh, this length AB and BC so we can find this angle uh, what are they saying so the angle if this is okay so if theta is pi by 3 Okay, so what they're saying is, this angle is pi by 3. So what we're going to do is, if this is pi by 3, and if I drop uh, a right angle, we have to, then we can find AB, and then we have to find uh, ABC also. And then we can use the cosine rule, I think so. So let me draw the figure. Let me draw the triangle again. So you got okay. So what do we know? We know that this is your this is the figure. So we know this angle, this angle. So but this is the center. This is the center O. This is A. Uh, this is C. All right. Let me check. That's B and that's C. Okay. So this is your center. 
I'm talking about this. This is center, this is A, B, and C. So B is above. So this is your B, and this is your C. And we know this is pi by 3. Okay, I'll continue this in the next video.